Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Leyesu and I'm gonna discuss to you today the binary numbers. Welcome again, my name is Stephanie Leyesu and I'll be discussing the following lesson. What are the binary numbers? Decimal to binary, binary to decimal, operations in decimals which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Lastly, decimals and alphabet. And yes, you are correct. This is the binary codes in the alphabet. Usually, you could see this in computers or movies. Now, let's proceed. What are binary numbers? According to Augustine, in mathematics, the positional numeral system employs two as the base and so requires only two different symbols for its digits, zero and one. Instead of the usual 10 different symbols needed in the decimal system, the numbers from zero to 10 are those in binary, zero, one, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one zero one 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 zero one 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 zero 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 one zero zero one and one zero one zero it means that decimal numbers use 10 digits which is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine but decimal i mean but binary numbers only use two digits, which is zero and one to represent all the numbers. Now, let's discuss decimal to binary. We have subtraction method. Let's have the value of 85 as the decimal. You might be wondering why I have this red color number here in our presentation, but Remember, we will always use these numbers to solve our decimal to binary. Um, you might be also wondering where did I get these values? It's easy, you just need to multiply one times two equals two, two times two equals four, four times two equals eight, eight times two equals 16, 16 times two equals 32, 32 times 2 equals 64, and so on. And then, why did I stop in 128? Because we are only looking for um, the highest number next to 85. And the value of 128 already exceeds that. So, already exceeds the 85, so we, only, we will choose 64. Now that we choose 64, we're gonna subtract 64 to 85. So 85 minus 64, we will get 21. And again, we will look for the highest number next, uh, next to 21. I mean, before to 21. So we cannot use 32 already because it exceeds the value of 21. So we will have 16 and then, subtract it 21 minus 16 we will have 5 and again we will choose higher number before 5 we will have 4 so 5 minus 4 equals 1 now i put boxes to the numbers we choose earlier and later we will use this to get our binary numbers so if we will going to add 64 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1, we will get the value of 85. It means that we have the correct corresponding numbers. Now, to know what is the binary numbers of 85, you just simply put 1 to those numbers who have boxes and 0 to those numbers who, do, who doesn't have boxes. So we will start at 64 because this is the first number we choose earlier. So we put 1 for 64, 0 for 32, 1 for 16, 0 for 8, 1 for 4, 
zero for two, and one for one. In conclusion, 85 have one zero one zero one zero one binary number. Again, 85 have one zero one zero one zero one binary number. Next, we will have another example. We will have 142. And again, we will have this value. And I added one more number, which is 256. So remember again that we will always use this to solve decimal to binary. And you can put as many as you want, as long as you will get the value of your decimal number. So we will look for the higher number before 142. We have 128. So we will be using subtraction again and subtract 142 minus 128, we get 14. And then we will look for the higher value before 14, we get 8. So we will subtract it. 14 minus 8 equals 6. And again, we will look for higher value before 6, we got 4. So we will subtract it. 6 minus 4 equals 2. And then we will box the 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0. So we put all the numbers, we box, put boxes and add it all. We will get 142. And again, put 1 to those numbers who have boxes and put 0 to those numbers who don't have box. So we will start at 128. 1 to 28, 0 for 64, 0 for 32, 0 for 16, 1 for 8, 1 for 4, and 1 for 2, and 0 for 1. Now, in conclusion, 142 have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 binary number. Again, 142 have one zero 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 one one zero binary number. It's easy. You can practice this again and again. Now let's proceed to binary to decimal number. Now we proceed to binary to decimal. Then we have the value here, 1010. Zero, one, zero. And we will simply use this 2 to the 0 power, 2 to the 1st power, 2 squared, and 2 to the 3rd power. And we will solve this one. But remember, we have 1010, one, zero, and 0 means no value. So we will simply ignore it and put zero to this. We will simply put zero in this and also this because it doesn't have value because it's zero. And then we will only solve this one who have one. And it, and it applies to all binary numbers whenever we solve binary numbers to decimal. So now we will go into solve. As you can see, I put arrow here so you will know which equation does it belong. Next is how do we Solve the two to the third power. It's uh, it's easy. We just need to multiply two three times. So two times two times two, we will have eight. And then because we uh, we already have this two to the power, I mean two to the first power, we only have one. So two times one equals two, right? Now. 8 plus 2, we will have 10. So it means that 10 have 1010. 0, 1, 0. 
So the decimal number 10 have the binary value of 1010. Don't worry, we still have two more examples for you to understand this lesson. So we have another example. Binary to decimal again. And our another example is we have one zero, I mean one one zero 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 and one one. And now I told you earlier that we will put this equation again, this values above this binary numbers, two to the zero power, two to the first power, two squared, two to the third power, and so on. As long you can put as many as you can, as longer as your binary number. Now we will gonna solve this. Again, as you can see, this one this one and this one, we put zero value because it doesn't have value at all because this is the rule when we transform binary to decimal when you have zero and then you don't need to solve it. But then we have two, two, two to the six power. Six power we have here, and this and this and this and this. We are going to solve that one, okay? So now I also put arrow so you will know. And then I just remove the zero. Then we can solve now this value. And then after we solve that, we will get this. 64 plus 32 plus 2 and plus 1. So if you add that all, you will have 99. So it means that decimal number 99 have the binary of 1100011. It's easy like that. You can practice again and again to master this kind of method. Okay, so still have another example. This is zero one zero one zero one one zero. And again, I put another value above of it, the same as earlier. And then you will going to copy that below. And then, as I said, zero, this one is zero, zero, zero. You will also put zero here because it doesn't have any value. But if, if it's one, then you copy this number to this. Okay. And now we will remove the zero and this. And then we will solve this one. Then when we solve that, we will get this value. And then when we add 64 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2, we will get 86. So it means the binary code 01010110 have the decimal number, which is 86. Again, you can practice this method so you can master it later on and now we will talk about operations in binary first we have addition and binary and we have rules to remember which is zero plus zero equals zero 1 plus 0 equals 1. 0 plus 1, we have 1. And 1 plus 1, we have 1, 0. And subscript of 2, but we will put 0 and carry 1. 
you might be confused because in decimals, 1 plus 1 is equals to 2, but in binary, it's different because we will have the value of 1, 0. So now, let's have this value in our solving. So I have here my whiteboard, and I hope you will understand my writing. Let me copy first here. We have one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, and subscript of two. Let's put here the plus, then one, one, zero, one, zero. Oh, I think I got the wrong number. Let me correct that. Wait. I should I should have start with the one here one 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 zero one zero one one subscript of two and I also got here wrong I'm so sorry bear with me okay now we got the correct values now let's start to add we got one plus one we have 10, but we will put zero here. Let me make it bigger. Okay. We will put we will put zero here and carry one. And then one plus zero equals one. One plus one, we get ten. One zero, but we will just put zero here again and put one here. And then 1 plus 0 equals 1, and 1 plus 0 equals 1. And now we have here 1 plus 1. We got 1, 0, which is 10, but we will only put 0 here and 1 here. Again, we will add this carry 1. 1 plus 1, we got 1, 0. You will put zero here, here, and you will put one here. So we got one plus one, I mean one plus zero, we will have, I mean zero plus zero, we will have zero. And then one plus one, we will have one zero. So you will just put zero here again and put one here above. And then zero plus one, we got one. And then one plus zero equals one. And one plus one, we got 10. Then we will just put zero here again and put one here. Then one plus one, we got zero again. One plus one, I mean we got 10, and then we put zero here, and we put one here. Then zero plus one, we got one. And because we don't have any values here, so we will just bring down one. And always copy the subscript of two. Now we will get this answer, and let's, let's check here if we got the correct answer. And yes, it is, we got one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, subscript of two. And now let's have another example. We got, Zero zero one zero one plus zero one 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 subscript of two. Now I'm gonna put that here in my whiteboard. Zero zero one zero one subscript of two zero one 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 subscript of two. And then we put the addition here and then 
let's start. 1 plus 1, we got 0. And we put 1 here. Always remember that 1 plus 1, we get 10. But we need to put only 0 below and carry 1. And then again, 1 plus 0 equals 1. And 1 plus 1, we get 10 again and carry 1. And then 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. We put 0 here and we put 1 here. So we get 0 plus 1. We got 1. And then 1 plus 0 equals 1. And then 1 plus 1, we got 10. We put 0 here and 1. And 1 plus 0 equals 1. Then 1 plus 0 equals 1. Now, copy the subscript of 2 and we will get this answer. I hope you understand my explanation bit by bit. Now, let's check if we get the correct answer here. And yes, we got 10100 subscript of 2. All right. Let me just erase this one and then let's proceed to subtraction and binary. There are rules to remember about solving subtraction. We have 0 minus 0 equals 0, 1 minus 0 equals 1, 1 minus 1 equals 0, and 0 minus 1 for scan at B, we will borrow to the another value of 1. I mean, we will borrow to the next number who have value of 1. All right. Now we have this value. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, subscript of 2 minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, subscript of 2. And again, let me put that in my whiteboard. Now that I already put it in my whiteboard, let's slowly solve it now. Remember the rules, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 equals 1, 0 minus 1 cannot be. So we will borrow to the next number. So we will cross this out, put this will become zero. And this number will become one, zero. But then again, in decimal numbers, when we subtract 10 minus one, we get nine. But in binary, we will put one. So 10 minus one equals one. And here, zero minus zero equals zero. 1 minus 1 equals 0, and 0 minus 1 cannot be. So we will borrow here again and put 0. And then again, this is going to be 10. And it's not going to be 10 minus 1 equals 9 because it's not decimal. It's binary. So we will just simply put 1. And then don't forget to copy the subscript of 2. So now we will get this value. Now let's check if we got the correct answer in our presentation. Yes, we get the correct answer, which is 100110 zero, zero, one, one, zero, subscript of 2. It's okay if you still are you, you are still confused or still want to learn more because we still have one more example just bear with me so we have this one 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 
one zero subscript of two and then zero one zero one zero sub subscript of two put here the subtraction and let's solve it zero minus zero equals zero one minus one equals zero one minus zero we bring down one one minus one equals zero and one minus zero equals one. And then we copy the subscript and we got this answer. And let's check it to the PowerPoint presentation if we got the correct answer. Yes, we got it. One zero one zero zero subscript of two. So we have here zero. 1, 1, 1, 1, subscript of 2, and we got 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, subscript of 2, and we subtract this. 1 minus 1 equals 0, 1 minus 0, we bring down 1, 1 minus 0, we bring down 1, 1 minus 1 equals 0, and 0 minus 0 equals 0, and then we copy the subscript of 2. And we got the answer. Now let's check if we have the same answer in the presentation. Yes, we have the same answer. Now let me clean my board because we will be preparing for the multiplication of binary. Okay. Now let's welcome to multiplication and binary. We have the rules of 0 times 0 equals 0, 0 times 1 equals 0, 1 times 0 equals 0, and 1 times 1 equals 1. Okay. Let's solve. We have the value here, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, subscript of 2, multiply to 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, subscript of two. Uh, bear with me because this one gonna be uh, very long, uh, not so long, but easy equations, just that we have a lot of multiplier. All right, I'm almost finished. So let's multiply these values. 1 times 0, we got 0. 1 mm -hmm. and then 1 times 1, we got 1. 1 times 0, we got 0. 1 times 0, we got 0. 1 times 0, we got 0. And then we will go to the second number. 0 times 0 equals 0. 0 times 1 equals 0. 0 times 0, we got 0. 0 times 0, 0. 0 times 0 equals 0. Again, we are here in the third number. 1 times 0, we got 0. And 1 times 1, we got 1. 1 times 0 equals 0. 1 times 0 equals 0. 1 times G, I mean 1 times 0 equals 0. And the fourth number, we have mm, 0. Because 0 times 0 equals 0, and 0 times 1, it's 0. And it's still 0 here because it doesn't have 1. And then last number, 0 again, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Don't worry if you do this manually in your own paper, you will understand that if you multiply 0 times 0, it's 0 because it's the rule of binary multiplication. Now, let's add this all. Bring down 0 
1 plus 0 equals 1, 0, and then we bring down 1, and then just copy 0 because we don't have any other value to add. And then we cop, I mean, we count the bits here. How do we count it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 bits. So we will just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we will cross this out. And this is going to be our answer, which is uh, 01010. And whenever you solve, just copy the subscript of 2 in here. All right. Let's check our answer here in the PowerPoint if we have the same answer. And yes, we got the same answer, which is 01010 subscript of 2. Multiplication in binary is easier. Now, we will have another example. Which is 00111 subscript of 2. And then we have 00. One zero zero subscript of two. Then we put the multiply here, and then we will multiply it bit by bit. Okay, just bear with me. Zero times one equals zero. Zero times one equals zero. Zero times one equals zero. And then we got two zeros. It's mean it's zero zero. And then zero again. We still have we still have the same value because it's zero. We just count five because we have five bits. And then we got we have one here, so it means one times one equals one, one times one equals one, one times one equals one, one times zero equals zero, one times zero equals zero, and then we go for the fourth number zero again just copy it we have five zero because we have five bits zero times zero like that now again it's zero again we just copy five zero and then we will add this all and don't forget to add the subscript of two whenever you do this equation and now make sure that all of that is align, align, align. So you will not get the wrong answer. If we bring down zero, zero, one, 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 and copy zero, 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 zero. And again, we will count how many bits do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we will remove this copy the subscript of 2 and we have the answer and let's check if we get the, the same answer and yes we get the same answer which, which is 11100 subscript of 2 now prepare you, yourself because the next lesson is about division and I hope that's not difficult for you. Now, welcome to division and binary. The rules are, if we can divide the given number, then we put one. And if we cannot divide the number, then we put zero. All right, let's start. So we have 100 subscript of 2 divided by 10100 subscript of 2. So when di in dividing uh, div division binary, 
we will make the binary to decimal. It's just like a decimal division, but we will only use two values, which is one and zero. So I will put here 100 subscript of two, divided by one, zero, one, zero, zero, subscript of two. So 100 divided by 100. Yes, it can, it can be divided, so we will put 1. And then 1 times 100, we have 100, right? And we will subtract it. We will have 1 minus 0 is 1. So here, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 equals 0. We don't need to put down the zero here, but we can still copy if you want and then bring down zero. Here, you bring down the zero and then we will divide this to 100. Zero, zero, one, zero divided by 100 can be or cannot be of course cannot so we will put zero and then um zero times 100 equals zero 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 so we will put here zero 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 So we will subtract this three zero. We have zero minus zero equals zero. One minus zero, we have one. And then we bring down this zero here. And then one divided by 100, I mean 100 divided by 100 we got 1 because can it can be divided then 1 times 100 we have 100 and then if we subtract that 1 we got 0 0 0 and then we will copy the subscript of 2 once you reach the last number below it means that you already finished on dividing the number so it means when dividing this number, we will get 101 one subscript of 2. Okay, now we, we check here in our PowerPoint presentation. And yes, we got the same value of answer. I know it's confusing, but we still have Another example is just dividing decimal number. Now we have this value. It's much more longer, so we will flip our whiteboard. We have here one zero zero one subscript of two. One zero 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 one one zero subscript of two <clears throat> okay so can we divide one thousand one to one thousand of course cannot so we will put zero and zero times one thousand one it means as you can see we put zero for zero here and when we subtract it zero minus zero it's zero 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 and we bring down one 
and then we bring down 1 here. So it means 10,001 divided by 1,001. It can divide, right? So we put 1 here and then 1. <laughs> and then 1 times 1,100. So let's see here. You just simply follow that what's on the presentation. We put one zero zero one and then subtract already bring down the first one right mm -hmm. one minus one equals zero 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 and then we borrow then ten minus one equals one and now we bring down another one which is here. So 10,001 divided by 1,001. Yes, it can divide. Put one, one times. 101, we will put here. Minus again. <coughs> Excuse me. One minus one equals zero 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 and then we borrow put here 10 and then we simply put one here okay and then we bring down the last number which is zero so we got ten thousand divided by one thousand one yes it can be divide so one thousand one times one thousand one We got 1,001. Of course, we are only multiplying it by 1. And then we will subtract it. 0 minus 1. Now, this is um, interesting because as you can see here at the right, I mean left, we don't have another 1, but we have here at the last so we will borrow here borrow so it will become zero and we put here 10. now that tandaan nyo remember na kung nakabarrow na kayo dito sa left side na one ang dadaanan niya ay magkakaroon din ng value na one, 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 one. So it means na when you borrow into a number, pag nadaanan niya lahat yun, magkakaroon ng value ng one. So 10 minus one, we got one. And then we put one minus zero equals one minus zero equals one. And then 1 minus 0 equals 1. 1 minus 0 equals 1. Then 1 minus 1 equals 0. Now, we stop here because we already reached the last number here at the top. We simply copy the subscript of 2. And now, step, we get the remain, a remainder. Why? What do we do? Don't worry. You can simply just put the answer is 111 subscript of 2 and remainder 111 subscript of 2. Okay, let's see if we got the same answer. Yes, we have the same answer with the presentation. And now, this one is a very interesting topic that most teenagers can relate maybe binary numbers so these are the example of binary numbers as you can see a4 
a one zero zero one zero 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 one and so on mm -hmm. let's go back and so this alphabet this is their binary and here also alphabet and this is their binary you can use this alphabet whenever you want to compose a letter or phrases into a unique binary numbers okay let me just erase the writings i put and then let's proceed i have an example here this one i love you mm. so i love you you should just put i mm, i for this one l for this one o for this one v for this one e for this one and y o u so it's difficult to transcri transcript uh, binary numbers or binary code but it's a unique way to write a letter or phrases as what i said earlier still have another example but let me delete first my marking and we have math is life of course math is life everywhere so like what i said earlier and for this one a for this one this one and this one and so on okay you can learn this bit by bit you can print the format that i showed to you earlier this one you can use this to write unique letters i hope you understand our topic for today and this is Steph again. Even though my writings is not good, but I hope you understand my lesson. So once again, I'm Stephanie Layese, and I am a first year college student under BSBA Financial Management. Thank you for listening.